So a couple of months ago, I built a small wind turbine, 3D printed, and I had it outside on my balcony for like four or five months. And now I want to take it back in again and have a look at it, how it did. So apart from a little bit of rust on the clamp, which still works fine actually, there's also a little bit of rust on the axle, which is a non-stainless steel 4 millimeter. So that was to be expected. But apart from that, it actually runs still very smoothly. And the 3D printed parts, and everything holds up quite well. Uh, except here the lower disc is a little bit wobbly so maybe that was the UV radiation or something but still overall after four or five months outside it looks pretty well actually so this kind of wind turbine is called a Savunius wind turbine after Sigurd Savunius, a Finnish inventor from the 1920s and uh, essentially, this design is very simple, based upon a, a circular cylinder. When you take this cylinder and cut it into two halves, and move the halves along a line with respect to each other, so like this, creates a shape that, when subjected to wind, let's say it comes from this direction, offers one half with uh, a lot of resistance against the wind and another half with less resistance against the wind and this unevenness causes the whole thing to rotate essentially. Now the special thing that Savunius invented was uh, not having these two halves uh, essentially like this but he let uh, these two halves uh, overlap so like this with the central axis, of course, in this point here. And this gap allows for air from the wind, which streams into this half of the rotor, to also go into this other half, because this one drags uh, behind it uh, an area of turbulent and uh, air stream, basically like this, which is uh, of lower pressure, and the air coming onto it. So this whole area here is uh, fire pressure. And the air floating from this half of the rotor into the other basically mitigates this uh, negative um, pressure area and reduces the drag on the whole system. My little contraption here is uh, really no precision build, but still with what I've got here, it's amazing how little wind is required to bring this thing into rotation. So basically below one meter per second even, which is a wind speed that you can barely feel on your skin. I built this little wooden stand and with the wind turbine put into it and some ventilators used as my artificial wind sources. I can also show that this kind of wind turbine is also pretty cool because they can use uh, wind from any direction without any mechanical or additional mechanical complications to rotate uh, the whole contraption into the wind, I mean. So yeah, there's also one major advantage of this kind of wind turbines. If you want to rebuild this thing, I've put the files for 3D printing into the description. And these contain the lower and upper disc, which are not quite symmetric because the lower one has uh, this cone right here which uh, sits on top of the ball bearing and reduces the friction, so be aware of that. Furthermore, of course, the two wing halves. And also you need a 4mm steel axis 
in the 3D printing parts is also of course the connecting pieces at the bottom and the top. And that's it for the 3D printing. And furthermore you need of course a 20 by 20 millimeter aluminium or steel square tubing. And two M4 nuts and bolts which uh, go right here and uh, connect the 3D printed parts to the square tubing. And finally, of course, uh, two M4 ball bearings, which sit in the connecting pieces. So that's it, basically. Very simple build, done in a day or so. The files are in the description. So well, what can you do with it? Could you charge your phone with a uh, wind turbine like this? Well, in theory yes, but in practice it would be a little bit difficult because this thing is just too tiny. It would need to rotate insanely fast to produce even a couple of watts required to charge a phone, like uh, 10 watts or so. And uh, at that kind of rotational speed, it would probably fly apart. So it would produce maybe one or two watts at this size. But I may or may not have a larger version already in progress. Stay tuned for it in another video. Thanks for watching.